this move, in, in fact, is quite unique. So this is actually an active wharf. A lot of our places that we do go to um, aren't active. So if you're building a new terminal, you've got plenty of time to deliver the cranes. In this case, we are working terminal, very short window. We had to come up with an extremely fast method that we could move the cranes uh, as quickly as we could. We're supplying specialist trades personnel from China. This is a crew that we worked with um, extensively through Australia. You know, they work in all different countries and ports. So we first have to put a steelwork structure to actually distribute the load directly into the wharf piles. And to get the crane up on that, we pulled the crane up a ramp, then onto the steelwork. Um, if we do have high winds, uh, we are very restricted in what we can do. We would just go into lockdown and then just park the cranes in situ. We then have to set up what we call the cross rails, and then we have little um, bogies that will go in. They are self-jacking, so they each have a hydraulic pump, and they can then individually jack. The crane is then supported on the cross rails, and then we pull the crane across. So we move it back into the container stack, and then we're going to drive the other cranes past, and then we push it back on. This is a big task taking on by POAL, but the guys are you know, more than up to the task, and they're very reliable in what they do.